Uh, this instrument was made in 1845, uh, not in France, not in Italy, but in Copenhagen, uh, which was called Hafnie at the time, Harbor Town. This was made by the Minister of Culture, much larger than it was, and as was uh, the fashion of the time, it was made smaller. That process took a year. Most of these fine Italian violas that we have left in the world, they've all been made smaller than what they were originally designed for. Uh, the viola is an imperfect tool, acoustically. Uh, it's not the violin, it's not the cello, where these uh, proportions me, among others, are, are designed perfectly to basically pump the sound out of the, of the middle of This is really just a wooden pump. That's really all this is, with some strings. And the strings through the bridge, and there's a sound post that goes in between the top and the bottom. All it's doing is pumping the top and the, and the back, pumping the air in and out of these F-holes. That's really all it's doing. So, so this is this is an unusual instrument, not only because it's Danish, whoa, crazy, <laughs> uh, but because it, it's not how it was designed. Another distinguishing factor uh, between, uh, let's say, a violin or a cello and a viola is that the violin and, and cello, since they're so perfect, perfectly designed, they're always the same size. Now, not only the size back, the height of the ribs, but also the string length, which is the length of the string between the bridge and the scroll nut. Now, a violist, uh, we practice on these instruments, hopefully every day, uh, but really, uh, one violist really can't pick up another's instrument and sound like they do on their own especially because of the string length. The string length from the bridge to the scroll changes from instrument to instrument. Now, that changes where we put our fingers to play it too. Every viola is different. Every sick and, and, and string bass, contra bass, usually, I, I'd say pretty much all of them, they're, they're always different. The bass and the viola they're all different, every one of them. Uh, it's wild, it's a wild thing. When you go shopping for violas, you have to say, oh, I want this, I want that string length, I'm looking for this kind of sound. Violin, you say, I want a violin. And they say, how many millions you got? <laughs> so, Danish instruments made smaller in the, about 10 years after it was born, in the mid-1850s, this was made smaller by some other guy, crazy. Some other guy made this smaller. He also took the varnish off of the original instrument and re-varnished it. Uh, it's, it's a wild thing. But anyway, it's a pump, and it pumps your home with sound. Where's our link? There you are. Uh, and thank you so much for allowing me to do it.